Welcome everyone to Scouts of Entertainment 3v3 today. Today's replay comes from the King of Isengard, Arterius. It's a long name, Arterius. We have Dragon's Breath Cannons. It's, he's also commanding the Realm of Rune today. So, obviously King of Isengard, Arterius killed Lord of the White Champion. I think he is now. We have Log Sionrim. Some Log Plagrim and Log Gamprim. Looks like... Ooh. Yeah, it looks like three units apiece. More like Sonrim on the other flank, and two units of Bathclub Tribes and the Javelin unit. We also have two units, or maybe even three units, of the Eastron Crossbows and some Kumul's Chosen. So no cavalry. A little unusual. And over here, we've got some Kumul's Shadow Guard hiding. Two units. No Shadow Bows though. So, you know, I'll see what happens with that. That's actually one of his enemies. His ally, Dorwinian. KB Tuck, the greasy Italian. So KB's got some Elven infantry. Some Nandor Glade Guard hidden here somewhere. Some Evelyn Hammer Guard. Quinty Glade Masters. Evelyn Vine Guard. Possibly two, three units. There's some Evelyn Marksmen, two units. Evelyn Infantry, more Quinty Bows, and more infantry. And that, I think, is it for him. So getting this done quick. We've got Harad, commanded by the Free Guy. Okay. Uh, he's got some Sathron Isis, some Muhad Warriors, some more Muhad Warriors, and some Muhad Beastmaster, Beast Tamers. We have some more Sathron Isis, more Muhad Warriors, some Serpent Guard, Sathron Lancers, the only ally to bring cavalry, it would seem. We also have some Mumakil, some War Beasts of Harad, some Moab Beast Tamers, Trollman of Harad, Dismounted Serpent Guard, possibly Armored Up. We have another unit of Serpent Guard and three units here total. Okay. So that's it for them. So moving on to the first of their three opponents. We have Isengard, commanded by Ricky Beagle. So some War Riders. Some Urukai infantry, more Urukai infantry, possibly two units here, and some Urukai berserkers, possibly two units here as well, and maybe even two units of Urukai pikemen. We have some Dunedin clansmen, two units, some more clansmen, more Urukai archers, some Nazgar nice blister, my bad, some Urukai crossbows, we have some Nazgar high. Trolls of the White Hand, more pikemen, more infantry, and some champions of the White Hand. So plenty of cab for Isengard. Okay, next we have Orcs of Misty Mountains, commanded by the Great Goblin, who I also haven't seen before. Same goes for the Defra guy of Harad, I haven't seen him before either, so for you guys, welcome. We have some Hand Goblin Spears, two units, possibly some infantry, I'm not sure. I think I can make it out. He's just uh, spears here. We have some heavy goblin halberds. Possibly two units here. Some heavy goblin spears. Some heavy goblin crossbows. Two units. Blackback mountain berserkers, troll drummers, snow trolls, bogs champions, and war riders. So already, Pradarius is um, he's at a cavalry disadvantage. Finally, we have Mordor, commanded by Grizzly Fox, who I've seen before. And he's got some Moron Halberds. One, two, three. Three. Yeah, three. Four units there. And some Orc Fighter mixed in. So maybe two units of Orc Fighter just spread out. Or just the one unit. We have some Troll Drummers. Some Orc Jabbies. Two units. Some Temple Executioners. Armored up, I believe. Yep. We also have some Orc Maulers. Two units there, some Black Guard of Arador, two units. We also have some Mears Morgul Chosen. And some Olokai. And I think that's it for him. 
I think I call these cavalry. There's some Ardunian lances and some temple inquisitors. So, um, alrighty, let's get this battle started. The Dragon's Breath Cannon is starting to fire. The Winian has not started firing yet. Mordor's making his move. Ricochet, but a good hit to start. Pindy Bow's still not firing. We have some Seven River Patrol, two units, not firing. Ever Marksman is uh, <laughs> moving to the side. I don't think that affords you guys protection there, and you're actually exposing yourself to so keep your eyes as close to your spears. They're getting close. Okay, there we go. We have some pretty stalkers here. So that's why it's comfortable putting them there. Pretty bow's going to be brought back. They should start firing soon. Looks like Rune's about to engage. Okay, got some double infantry out front. Dark Club tries from throwing their jabbies into the heavy golden halberds. He's strong crossbowmen winding up. I'm not shooting. Okay, Arter is protecting his flanks. About to engage. River patrol still not being used. That's interesting. Okay, going after the Orc Javelins. We're also loading up. Oh, you gotta get your Italian, you gotta get your Mokini Bows out of there. He's losing them fast. Oh, it's hard to watch. We got some cool Shadow Guard protecting his allies' flanks, so. That was our ears planning ahead. The actual tribes are loading up. Okay, I'm just peppering his front lines. and just peppering the front lines of the Red Goblin. Where are these guys going to be shooting at? Oh, okay. Okay. Arias just lost the cannon. This could be bad. Okay, there goes his cannons. It's a big loss there for him. Who are these guys shooting at? I wonder. Not oh, just the clansmen.
Looks like the Daffy guy could really get in there and destroy Ricky Beagle's arches. The ballista's well guarded, so that's out of the question. Okay, and Arterius has fallen back. He's also sending over two units to help out his ally. Assess the Lepindi Boza firing. Archer's tightening the flanks, but not shooting the wolves. Or the, oh, sorry. My bad, these are Lepindi Stalkers. Alright, so the Italian is actually doing pretty well here. They've broken the flank of the grizzly fox and moving around. So Arteri is trying to help his ally out so his ally can get over there and help him out. There's a great goblin's marching on him. Another kill is keeping well clear of the ballista. It is the biggest threat. Oh, I've got some Hashari stalkers here as well. Now I wonder what the plan is here of the Great Goblin. We've got pikes here, stakes, I mean, the Duffer guy is literally just giving him a free opportunity to shoot him. And they're going downhill now, which means the direct hit from the Shari is extra damage on multiple units. Plans were not really too much to worry about. Ooh, number kill here, running amok. Why are they running amok? One of them died. That can't be right. Oh, one of them actually, one of them did die. Taken out by the blister. Like Sam Rim shutting down the wards. That's a big loss there for the Duffy guy. So Isengard really being a thorn in really being a thorn in the Arterius' side. So South on answers might be going for a cavalry charge on the war riders. The crossbow's firing into him. Not bad. Okay, how's it going over here? Grizzly Fox being double teamed big time. Evelyn Hemmergaard ultimately hasn't really lost any men. Temple Execution is cleaning up Rune here. Just sitting here, not doing too much. He should be mobilizing. Either cleaning up Mordor here or sending them over to help his ally. He's got orcs and Misty Mountains bearing down on him. Stone Trolls moving in.
It is literally a ruined turkey shoot here. Okay, we got javelins here just pelting the snow trolls. Okay, we have all three units of the crossbows targeting the snow trolls here. It's a real damn shame Duffy guy lost his normal kill so early. I don't know why Duffy guy's wasting so much ammo on these guys. It is a waste. Really, have he switched his targets? Just to kill a couple guys is really not worth it. Oh god! Ricky Beagle's probably cheering, hoping this guy stays alive as long as is possible. Oh! Oh shit! Oh no! Normal kill turning on their masters. And they run amok, so those men are dead. That's a big, that's a huge loss. Harad has lost easily 200 men there. I'm betting he's having the Mulliken knock over some trolls. Here we go. Targeting champions with the white hand. going to protect his flanks, getting the war beasts into position. Oh, watch out. Crossbow's targeting the Blackbat Mountain Berserkers. So many crossbows left. The wolves are hot on their heels. Tribesmen out of javelins now. Okay, here comes Arterius' forces that he sent over to have about his ally. Italians slowly on his way. These forces are really needed here. Broken, he just got slaughtered. Kumul's chosen in the fight.
Snaggy skirmish is moving up. I wonder where the heavy goblin crossbows were. They're in a taste of their own medicine. Looks like we had three units of crossbows here as well. Unlucky for the Orcs in Mr. Mountains, a lot of their bolts are going straight into the cannon that, they, that Isengard destroyed. So that thing is a nice shield for them. The Great Goblin is throwing javelins straight into the backs of his own drums. This is here, it's firing. Oh, nice! Took out a chunk of them. Looks like um, Harad's keeping his elite infantry at bay for the most part. He sent one unit up. So Haram might need some help soon as well. Fifty-seven to sixty-four. Oh, there goes out of races, General. This reforming. Okay, the winnings here, but he's he's forming up. Forces needed in the battle. Shadow guy getting wrecked. That guy getting in there. The winning chasing it off his forces. Okay, we're in pressing hard against the remaining forces of the Orcs and Missing Mountains. So how, how is Isengard going? The surrounding and encircling crowd. War beasts. Don't seem to be making too much of an impact in this battle. Down a few. The demons of the desert riding. The 
Duffy guy should really maneuver his archers around so he can shoot the Uruk-hai soldiers in the back, you know, just bring them down here. There's no cavalry to take them out, so just, you know, move them there, fire in, easy peasy. Okay, Ricky trying to kill Arterius' crossbows. Okay, Orcs and Misty Mountains has been broken. The last domino to fall is Ricky Beagle. Let's just try to fire in here. Straight for the elephant's butt. Oh, no. oh, Ricky's folding him up. It is 76 to 87. Reinforcements are pretty close. What do we got here? Rick is determined to take as many of them as he can with him. Okay, infantry really cut through the Muhad beast things. Times two speed it. See the Isengard forces are being wrapped up. Time sixty in action. We've got the Timmies of the White Hand in the background there harassing the Sapphire Archers.
94 to 85. Okay, forces there are broken. Guys, guys, yeah. Guys, yeah. Yes, it does. So, congratulations to the King of Isengard, Atarius. The Duffrey guy. I don't know what that means. I still don't know what that means. We have KB Tuck, the greasy Italian. Congratulations on your victory, guys. Atarius, 2280. Duffrey guy, 1638. And KB Tuck, the greasy Italian, on 2222. Holy smokes. 22222. Two, two, two. Not bad. We have the Grizzly Fox on. 1070, The Great Goblin, 1625, and Ricky Beagle on 2006, 2263. So, decent effort, guys. Uh, Grizzly Fox just got double teamed, so that's where things started to go really, really wrong for the um, for his team. Uh, the Great Goblin probably should have sent over some support. Um, one of the things I noticed that the Great Goblin Ricky Beagle did was bring the cavalry in way too close to the crossbows and archers of Rune and Harad, and they just had a field day damaging them and killing some as they went. So I think that was a mistake, you know, charging your cab right up to the stakes, stop, and then turn around. The whole time he's being shot at, so you know, that definitely didn't work, that definitely worked in um, Daffrey's favour. So looking at the kill counts, again, feel really sorry for Hurrah for losing them, only kill so early. One hit, one of them died, and that broke the other five. That's crazy. Kamul's chosen 100. Bathlop Tribesman, almost 100 each. He's strong crossbowmen. Two got over 200. One was 126. Like Sanrim, 126. Like Gamprim, one got 207. One got 325. And the other one got a measly 57 com in comparison. Like Flagrim, 124. Kumul's Shadow Guard, 145, 159. And not a bad placement with the Shadow Guard. He was able to really get in there to help out KB straight away when it looked like KB was in trouble. So, great game. Thank you to Arterius for setting in the replay. This is Scouts of Entertainment signing off. Catch you guys next time. Bye.